California Quadcopter 101 here, and before we get started, let's get the shout outs out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Oats the Goats. He was the first to say first in one of the recent videos, and thus wins a shout out. So, congratulations, Oats. What do I got here? This is the new Protocol Captor GPS drone. Protocol Captor 2, so also being called. Um, why, did, why am I. This is an odd looking drone, ain't it? <laughs> Why am I interested in otherwise being it being an odd looking drone? Well, it also is a GPS flyer. It is a you know a beginner's GPS flyer, brush motor GPS drone. Um, it has a 720p HD camera on it that can be swiveled up or down manually. You can move it up or down. I'm going to leave it up since I want to look forward. Well, let's give it a little bit of downward slope. Right about. Right about there should be good so we can see more of the ground than we see of the sky but um again odd looking thing i don't know what they're going for here in the shape but um it does record to a micro sd card inserted in the back here 720p hd video is recorded again it has gps on it and uh, i was looking to see if it has optical flow but i think they were going to put an optical flow version uh, this would be where the optical flow sensor would go on the optical flow version. Uh, the battery for this is a very proprietary looking battery. This is it. The entire back end of this is the battery um, with proprietary connector and proprietary charger, if I remember correctly. Yeah, proprietary charger too. Um, the milliampere hour, I don't know. It doesn't say on it. So, And again, this is more or less a prototype, I believe of the drone i'm not sure if it's available for sale just yet if it is i'll include a link down below but let's put that battery back in again the on off switch for this drone gps drone is right there very hidden and hard to get to but it's there and uh, let's go over the controller which is next oh i haven't mentioned something this is very important it does come with vr goggles in other words you can slide your smartphone inside here and your smartphone becomes goggles, um, so you can fly this FPV with your smartphone. And on top of that, these goggles are actually very nice VR goggles with independent, or it has diopter, correct, Cor correction, or what is it? Um, interpupillary distance IPD <laughs> correction, or adjustment there. And also you can adjust for uh, your eyes if you have uh, poor eyesight, you know, adjust the focus on these, using these. I am not going to be using these today. I'm going to be flying line of sight, but I'm just telling you, or letting you know, this does come with really nice VR goggles. Let's go over the controller now. This is its controller. Um, the buttons on this, if, if you're recording to SD card, uh, you record the SD card video by pressing this button here, starting and stopping it with that button there. Uh, you record SD card photos, by pressing this button here. If you want to record to the uh, phone, you use the app to start and stop the recording. The left button here, if you press into the uh, throttle stick, you can adjust the trim of the drone and then press it again to stop the trim. Uh, the right button here, if you press into it, it adjusts the rates, or if you go up or down, that's pitch and roll. Left buttons over here are well labeled. Uh, this is return to home and landing. This does have return to home and landing with its GPS, and you can do automatic takeoff by pressing this button here. And finally, very important to do compass calibration before your flight. You bring this stick down and inboard, and then press in to the return to home button, and that activates uh, compass calibration. So let's fire this up, do a compass calibration, show you how it's done, and let's go for a flight. So I hope you enjoy this flight. To start it up, again, you press this button here underneath and hold it for three seconds until the lights come on. Lights are flashing. They are still flashing. Then you turn on the transmitter, up and down to bind it. Let's make sure we are bound by starting the motors and stopping the motors. Okay, and now I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi. By the way, it's 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so that means any phone will work with this particular drone. You don't need a 5G phone. So we'll go for a flight this thing. Or I'm going to fire up the app, and we'll go for a flight. So hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, this is the Captor GPS app. And if we look on the top row there, uh, if we click that left button on the left there, that takes us to the advanced features we got of return to home and landing, follow me, circle me, and waypoints. And I'm going to turn that off. Second button there is for taking photos, snapping photos. I just took a snapshot there. Third button there is for starting and stopping video to your phone. And I'm going to stop that there. The VR button is for when you want to use those goggles. You click it and 
it splits the screen so it'll work with the VR goggles. Next button there is your library of videos and photos, which I haven't got any right now. Next button there shows our GPS satellite status, and we're full green bars on everything, so we're good to go there. Next button after that is our Wi-Fi status, full green on that, and finally our battery status, all the far right. And in the bottom there, if you notice, we have uh, telemetry information of distance, altitude, horizontal velocity, and vertical velocity in meters per second. Or no, actually, I guess it's feet per second, because <laughs> I see feet there in the uh, equation showing up. Okay, let's start the video camera of this thing by pressing the video button. And make sure we are recording by, the lights should be flashing. Oh wait, we haven't done stopping the video recording. And the lights have stopped flashing. I wanted to show you how to do that compass calibration. We gotta do that first. Down and in board on this stick and then press the return to home button. And all the lights should be flashing right now on this drone. And let me see if I can find those lights. They're right here. And they flash slowly. And what I need to do is do a turn until they start to flash rapidly. Okay, they're flashing rapidly now. Now I gotta go vertical, like so, until I get solid lights. I think they just went solid now. Okay, now I got solid lights, so we're good to go with our compass calibration. Very important to do those with these GPS drones. Now I'm gonna start that video again. Where's that video button? And again, double checking that the front is blinking, indicating I'm recording. Then we're gonna start the motors and take to the air. It's climbing, 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 climbing. Trying to bring it back down again. It doesn't wanna come down. It's just hovering right there. I'm giving full throttle down and it's not coming down. Maybe I gotta switch to control mode with this. Okay, it's coming back down again, going back to start. It's descending. I don't know why it did that. Now it's descending. But that was very scary there. <laughs> but let's get into the picture. Go up a bit higher, a bit higher. <laughs> Say, how do you like my shirt today, folks? Now I'm noticing right now that I wished that I had lowered that camera a bit more. Um, it's pulling it up too high, so we're gonna land it real quick. I wanna land it. Okay, do I need the hit land button to land it? Yep, you gotta hit land button to land this thing. So. I think you need to use takeoff button and land button to take off and land this thing. Let's move it back up again. Okay, let's stop that video recording. Video recording is stopped. This time I'm going to start use the app to start the video recording. And is it blinking? It's blinking. So I think we're recording also. And I am going to hit the auto takeoff button this time. So take off and landing. Does that climb up to super height again? Yeah, it keeps climbing. I don't know why it does this, but it climbs to a ridiculous height. Very high height. Maybe there's a, uh, I don't see any features in there where I can adjust it, but it does, once it takes off, it, it goes up to about 10 meters up, and then it allows you to come back down again. Okay. So initial, the way it is set up right now, it does an initial climb to 10 meters and then it comes back down to the ground. Let me sync this up. So keep that in mind, folks. It'll scare you there for a bit, but everything's fine. It comes back down again after it goes up to 10 meters. So right now, I wanna see what type of range can we expect. We'll go out over the field, over the trees and see 
if we can make it how far can we go before we lose FPV I'm trying to head over to the skate park is what I'm doing stopping right there and let's go a little farther 274 feet I'd be happy if we get to 328 feet which is 100 meters <laughs> going forward 350 feet 350 feet seems to be the distance it, it blocked it stopped itself there so 350 feet is a little over 100 meters okay so that's good let's try the return to home activated okay Wi-Fi streaming range exceeded do I got to hold that button down yeah you got to hold the return to home button down for it to come back here it comes it's coming back so again it's it's max range seems to be about 350 feet it's doing its return to home but it, where's it returning it's coming in at a, a curved direction to back to its flying its uh, takeoff point but it is coming back flying overhead man let's see it come back down and how close is it going to land did I take off from the ground over there or did I take off from the pad again? I don't know. Let's see if it does a landing. Coming down. That video recording seems to have stopped, so I'm going to start it again. At least it's not showing that it's recording. Can I stop this return to home? I pressed the button again to stop it. And I'm getting up close here to see if these lights are blinking. No, they're not. The blue light's in front, so I'm going to activate the video camera again. And is it blinking now? I can't. Yeah, it is. It's blinking, so it's recording. So getting back in the camera again. <laughs> Saying how you like my shirt today, folks. So, you know, uh, basic features. Let's try uh, the follow me while we still got battery power going up a bit higher. And hitting follow me and it says something here let's try that again the follow me distance is at least 32 feet so I got to go farther out for follow me to work let's try that follow me no I'm 12 feet out no it's not showing any distance why is that what happened to the distance? Let's land it, folks, and see if I need to reboot. Oh, follow me's working now. Follow me's working now. <laughs> it has distance information now. Let's see if I can go up higher. So 34 feet. Now the problem with follow me being at this distance here is that um, you're going to get a lot of Wi-Fi lag <laughs> because of that. You know, as the distance increases with this drone, and it being a 2.4 gigahertz drone, the lag is going to increase. So, let's try, see if it follows me. Old man running. <laughs> We're trying to run. Okay, that's enough of follow me. We'll stop it right there. Let's bring it over closer. And try... Actually, let's get away from that pole there, because I want to try uh, circle me. And I'm stepping in mud. Circle me, activate it. Go. Okay, it's circling the position where it was at. It's increasing its radius, going up a bit higher, so we're in a picture. So there's its circle position doing an ellipsoid <laughs> it doesn't seem to be doing a circle or wait a minute maybe it's moving around with me and my GPS can I increase the circle by pulling back on the stick no so that's its circle maximum radius of its circle seems to be about six feet <laughs> something like that so let's come out of circle B and next thing to try is waypoints and drawing, hit go. 
No, nah, waypoint I guess it still needs to be activated or um, adjusted because it doesn't seem to be following my the route that I want. Hitting go. So back to normal flight. Okay. And how's that camera? Okay, I'm recording to a card this time. Or I'm recording to the phone this time. And let's go up and about oh, directly overhead. Now that camera's putting it all the way up, folks. And yeah, let's rotate it from there. And that's the local area. It's holding its position rather well with its GPS. So what have we learned so far about this thing? This thing flies out to about 100 meters range. Let's go out and try that one more time. We'll go down to the other end of the field. Coming down lower too. Max range seems to be about 100 meters. Or 328 feet, something like that. See if I can make it to the far end of the field. Far corner, which would be about 100, 100 meters away. Right about there, that's good there. Let's go toward that tree there. Oh, no, we lost Wi-Fi signal. So, turn it back toward us. I'm gonna fly it back FPV. Pushing forward. Pushing forward. It's doing a return to home. I think its battery is low. Or it lost Wi-Fi signal. One of the two, but let it do its thing. Coming back home. Okay, I'm trying to stop its return to home. <laughs> the reason being, I didn't want it to hit that pole. But it's, let's see it finish it. Hands off the throttle. Let's see what it does. On low battery, it, it comes back home and lands itself, obviously. Yeah, let's see how close that landing is. And there we go. Return to home and landing on low battery, and that's its flight time. So let's stop those videos if they were recording. Pressing again there, and then trying this again, pressing there just in case they were recording. And my thoughts here, um, it's an odd looking drone. <laughs> it's a beginner's GPS drone, not really a lot of range on it. Uh, FPV range is about 100 meters, a little over 100 meters. Um, control range is a little bit further than that. Uh, but again, it's suitable for a beginner GPS drone. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Thank you.